Here's the tool used in this video for installing our brake pad. Cutting pliers and a zip tie. You're probably wondering why so few tools. We'll get into that by looking at what's included in our brake pad. First we have our brake pad and the included pack of rivets. There's two styles of rivets included. Both require drilling a 3 16 inch hole through the rubber pedal of the cover and the metal behind. This style requires a rivet gun and is going to be more secure. This one gets pushed through on this end and then you hammer in this pin to make it flush. Because I'm planning to swap out this brake pad with a mechanical brake switch, I'm just going to wedge this pad underneath the rubber that's on my br brake pedal as a temporary solution. Before doing this video, I tested this thoroughly to make sure it would work as expected. And, but ultimately, I'm going to be installing the mechanical brake switch and I don't want to drill any holes into my brake pedal. So before we begin, let's hear that safety jingle one more time. Before you are on your car, do these safety things before you start. Turn on the car, parking brake down, flip your switch to don't move. And disconnect your battery. Hey, this is Paul from Streetwise Carts. And before we jump in, I just want to let you know that this video is part of our free street legalization mini course available at streetwisecarts.com. Signing up for this course also gives you our downloadable parts buying worksheet. This free mini course is the installation portion of our full street legalization course that goes over all the state paperwork and compliance issues that you need to be aware of when converting your golf cart to a street legal LSV. You can find a link to the free mini course along with a 10% off coupon for a full street legalization course right down below this video. All right, let's jump back in. In a previous video, we removed the floor mats and access panel for our pedals. When mounting the brake pad, make sure you put it as high as possible so that it gets pressed where your foot naturally presses near the top. Now I'm removing the brake pedal cover and inserting the pad. I'm going to have the wire follow the path of some of our other wires down here, and then I'm connecting it to my harness. To keep the wiring secure, I'm going to add a zip tie around the base of the pedal. Now that we no longer need the access, I'm going to put the floor mat back on and start reassembling the dash. If you're planning to install side mirrors with LED turn signals, I'd recommend not screwing the dash back in or securing the front cowl so that you have the access you need to wire that up. Otherwise, go ahead and secure the dash screws and side skirts. 